One of the main security features within the Airwave Management Platform is to actually locate and track down rogue devices. For that, we have a separate software module called Rapids. And within the Rapids software module, it actually will allow us to use the wireless infrastructure to detect rogue APs through the wireless interfaces, and then also the wired infrastructure to find devices that might be connected physically to the network. On the Rapids page here, it summarizes all the information about the devices that the Rapids module has found. We actually score every device between a 1 or 7, a 7 being a device that we found on both the wireless and wireline side, and then 6, the, those things that are definitely rogues but may or may not be attached to our network and on down through the network. If you want more information about, in this case, our six or hires, we can click on the link and then get to a page that will show each one of these devices. And Airwave creates a unique name based on the vendor or manufacturer of the device and depending on the last three octets of the device's MAC address. If we decide that we would like more details about any given device, we literally just click on the name of the device and get to the Rogue AP's detail page. On this page, we summarize all the information that was able to be gathered about the device. Oftentimes, this can include both the radio and land MAC address, its IP address, manufacturer, SSID, channel, whether security is turned on or off, as well as being able to go out and do an operating system scan to determine if maybe this might be some just Windows laptop that looks like a rogue access point versus a device that has an embedded operating system and is much more likely to itself be a rogue. On down the bottom, we can actually see all the different discovery details, both from wireless AP scans, as well as some of the wired side scans, which might include looking on a switch or router or bridge forwarding table, or by the Airwave software, physically scanning the network itself. And finally, if there's more information, including the ability to display this device on a map, we can go ahead and pull up that map where we can now see the rogue access points themselves.